Good morning friends. Welcome back to Pannika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to install the latest version of the Python in your desktop or in your laptop. If you want to install any software, first we need to download it. So let me discuss how to download the Python latest version for Windows. So let me open the Firefox browser. Then I will type google.com. We can download the Python from any website. However, I prefer to download it from the official website. The official website to download any version of the Python is www.python.org. So let me click that one. Now you can see there is an about, downloads, documentation, community, success stories, news and events. But we want to download it. So let me click the downloads one. You can see the download the latest version for Windows. If you want to download it for Windows, the latest version on 21st August 2021 is 3.9.6. If you are watching this video after few months or few years, the version may vary. If you want to download for Windows, directly you can click it. However, if you want to download it for the Linux or Mac operating system, you can click it. Suppose let me see by clicking the Windows. If I click on the Windows, you can see latest Python 3 release is 3.9.6. Python 2 release is 2.7.18. And 3.9.6 was just released June 2028-2021. Okay. And even you can see 3.1.7.11 was released on June 28, 2021. And even you can see that one, whether you want to download it for 32-bit, 64-bit, all these things it will be displayed here. Similarly, if you want to download it for the Linux, you can click on the these options. So even for the Linux version, there is a 3.9.6 if you want to download it you can click it is it clear but let me download from directly this one download python 3.9.6 now you will get save file cancel you have to click on the save file option then it will take some time to download the file however for me it is already downloaded it is 24.8 mb let me click on that one now you can see the installation will start now. The install Python 3.9.6 64-bit because my operating system is a 64-bit operating system. So that's why I'm now installing 64-bit. Now you can see two options, install now or customize install. Which one you prefer, you can do it. But however, lot of students will just click on the install now. However, if you want to do the customize installation, you can do it. But as the majority of the people will prefer the install now, I'm clicking the install now button. Then it will take some time to finish this installation process. Now, once you have successfully installed, this is the message you will get it. Setup was installed. Then you can close it. Now you want to verify whether this one is successfully installed or not. You can go to the start button and you can see it. There is a Python IDLE, Python 3.9 modulus doc, Python 3.9 manual. So you can see that the Python was successfully installed. Now we'll verify whether we can work with the Python IDLE or not. See, this is the Python IDLE cell. Let's verify whether the code is working fine or not. Let me write print. Okay. Before that, let me increase the font size so that it will be visible to everyone. So you can go for the options and configure IDLE. Then you can see the size here. It is in the 10. Let me increase it to 20. And if I want to make it bold, I can click this one. Then I have to click the apply button. Then I will click the OK. Now I hope it is visible to everyone. So I want to print Pernica tutorials. Okay.
now i'll just click the enter button see pernica tutorials is coming so it is working fine let me write another small program a is equal to 3 b is equal to 4 c is equal to 7 d is equal to a plus b plus c then i will write print d i got the value 14 how because a value is 3 b value is 4 and c value is 7 so 3 plus 4 plus 7 is 14 so that is the output you got if you want to open a new file and if you want to write the code also you can do it you can open the file and you can write new file or control and if you press it it will automatically come so new file now let me write the same program a is equal to 3 okay b is equal to 4 c is equal to 7 d is equal to a plus b plus c then i will print the d value okay then first thing is that i need to save this one save okay where you want to save it let me save it on the desktop i will write basic program and you know that for a c program the extension is dot c similarly for the python program the extension is dot py save it and then you have to look at the run option there is a run form then click run module now you can see on the ideally the output came as 14 so we can say that the python was successfully installed and it is working fine in the next video i will discuss how to install the python ide okay i hope it is clear for you if you still have any doubts related to the installation feel free to ask me in the comment section i will try to clear your doubts as early as possible thank you for watching the complete video have a nice day